Hi, I'm Paris. So just as last week, I tried out mashed cauliflower to see if it could be a good substitute for mashed potatoes. This week, trying out something new rather than white rice or brown rice. How about riced sweet potato? Epic review, guys. So why would you choose riced sweet potato over steamed rice? Well, for some people, it might be a flavor thing, but from the nutrition facts here, it looks like it has fewer carbohydrates per serving. It also has a different mix of vitamins and minerals. White rice doesn't have the best reputation, sort of like white bread and white potatoes. They may be staple foods, but they're not considered the highest level foods nutritionally. As I mentioned last week, I grew up a pretty picky eater, so it wasn't until I was in my 20s that I actually took a liking to vegetables, and it wasn't until I lived in Japan for six years that I took a liking to rice, especially white rice, especially short grain, sticky, steamed white rice became my absolute favorite. But I also learned it's possible to live in Japan and eat a mostly Japanese diet and still put on weight, largely because of the rice. Coming back to the US, I switched to having mostly brown rice, which takes longer for your body to absorb because it still has some of the casing that the rice comes in and it has more nutrition because those parts are in it also. This is um, sweet brown rice. Uh, Korean brand that I bought uh, for Roxana to try out some Korean dishes, so we mostly eat this now. But we may add something new to our menu. This is microwavable, which is always a big plus for me. Should be ready in four minutes to eat. The question is the taste and the consistency. How is it going to compare to my beloved old steamed white rice, sticky rice, or the healthier brown rice that still goes so well with so many other foods? Since it microwaves in the bag, I can't open it up to show you what it looks like before microwaving, but you can sort of see some of the particles here in the little window they included in the package. I'm off to microwave this for four minutes, bring it back, and let you know how well I think this compares to regular old rice. One bag of hot rice, sweet potato, right out of the microwave. Kind of had the kitchen smelling like sweet potato a little bit, not as much as when you boil it. Okay, now I'm not going to add any cinnamon or brown sugar or anything to this, or marshmallows. I'm going to try it just, just like this. Have a look. It's kind of clumpy. It is steaming. It smells good. It really does have a sweet potato smell, and that's all that's in this. There, there apparently isn't anything else added to it. It's just plain old sweet potato looking a little different than you're used to seeing it. Here's a look at it. It's rectangular pieces of, I guess, chopped sweet potato. I'm trying to keep an open mind here. See what it tastes like. No preconceptions. It's good. I like sweet potato. Not quite as chewy or, once you've chewed it a few times, as mushy as rice. But I'm surprised. It's, it's got something of the rice characteristic going on. If I were eating this with some other vegetables, with some seasoning or some meat or something like that, I could imagine, if I were you know, talking at the table or something, eating it and not really thinking, oh, this isn't rice. It, it is fairly close in some key characteristic that I can't quite put my finger on a word for, but it's the kind of thing you serve with something else that helps to fill you up. So you don't actually eat a whole pound of chicken. You have some chicken and some vegetables and some rice. And with this, you would actually have some more vegetables. But it's that filler sort of thing that, that goes with whatever else you're eating. And I think it could actually pass for that. Now, you're not going to get away with passing this off as rice. I've never seen this color of rice. Even the jasmine rice is never this bright orange. But for kids who don't like rice because, and I've heard this from my kids when they were younger, it's just there's no flavor to it. There's really nothing to the white rice. This does not have that issue. This has, is very flavorful. Now, I'm not saying this wouldn't taste good with some brown sugar sprinkled on it. A little bit of melted marshmallows around it. But this is actually very flavorful and nice all on its own. I am I would be willing to have this with a meal in place of rice. I think I may actually try to add this to a meal here. And the kids, they'll eat the sweet potato fries. And these are just tiny little versions of those. 
rice sweet potato. It was quick to make, filling to eat, and this is three servings in this size bag right here. Costs about two and a half dollars over at our local supermarket. I think this one's actually a winner. You can find out more about rice sweet potato at the link down below this video. You can keep checking back for our future videos or you can click that subscribe button down below. You'll get notified when our videos go up. See you on the next review. Epic review guy.